Hi, I'm Troy Kaleski from Kaleski Wines, a winemaker and co-owner. Uh, today I'm talking about our CCC LXV Giriff. Now, uh, CCC LXV, that's the Roman numerals for 365. So in this case, it represents 365 days. So with uh, this wine, uh, I guess a normal red wine, when it's uh, in the fermenter in contact with skins, it's normal, normally uh, in the fermenter with skins for about seven to 14 days, maybe three weeks, occasionally four weeks, is quite a long uh, fermentation with skins. With uh, our CCC LXV, we actually leave it in contact with skins for 365 days. So uh, it's a very, very long time. So I have here the glass of the, the 2018 um, and also the, the brand new release 2019 vintage. So uh, both wines were made in exactly the same way. So it's uh, the Giriff grape that's harvested. Uh, Giriff is a very late ripener, so it's harvested quite late uh, in the season, nice and ripe. And the, the grapes are crushed, destemmed to a uh, open fermenter. Uh, where the, the skins are um, and then submerged, maybe plunged, and then the tank is locked up for a year, and then the wine is pressed exactly one year later, and then soon after it goes into bottle. So neither of these wines uh, see any oak maturation at all. Um, it's pure grapey goodness. So 2018, very lifted, rich, super sort of black, dark fruit characters on the nose. Very dry, big, tannic uh, on the palate. Even though I hasn't seen any oak, it's almost got some uh, pseudo oak sort of sort of characters coming through there. Um, yeah, quite puckering and dry. Um, it certainly needs ideally some more time in the cellar for, for those tannins to settle down. And then this is the, the brand new release, 2019. Um, it's certainly showing some more perfume and aromatics and, and florals coming through on the nose. Uh, certainly a lot brighter. Um, even the colour, it's a more more bright purple colour, uh, but very thick and syrupy, both of them are. On the palate, the 19 is big, intense, rich and flavoursome, but the tannins are not quite as prominent as the 18. I think there's perhaps still the same volume of tannins there, but there's a little bit more fruit richness and, and bright um, fruit character that, that counterbalances those tannins um, out compared to the 18. So look, both very good wines. Uh, the 19 is looking yeah, cracking right at the moment, but it's a wine that you can drink, enjoy now, because it is, it is quite plush and round, uh, very full flavoured, but it's a wine that will last a long, long time as well, whether that's you know, 5, 10, 20 years plus, uh, just looking at the mouthfeel and so forth. And it's an amazing Amazingly complex uh, wine, considering that it has had no um, oak maturation, but I think it's that time on skins, uh, those skins will start to break down slowly and, and leach out into the wine and just give that extra extra complexity. And um, yeah, it's, it's a really, really smart wine. So um, here's cheers.